things. So we can see uh, we have so many manufacturers, automobile manufacturers, no letter also uh, are being left and we have uh, a name starting from every letter of the alphabet. So, so many, um, this, this shows the number of automobile manufacturers, there are many uh, because this is one of the major applications of mechanical engineer, engineering and um, therefore we have so many companies. Now, uh, let us see what the different body styles are there. So, we have a coupe. Uh, generally, a coupe is a two-door car and it has two seats to accommodate uh, with a two plus two arrangement that is a four passengers. So, it is a closed car with a two doors, uh, normally called a sporty variant of sedan. So, it is a, a variant of sedan or saloon, it has a disc called as uh, it's, uh, the, the features are the beautiful design. Uh, this not uh, having though it is not having a higher uh, capacity of accommodation. It is a very comfortable and beautiful arrangement. So beautiful design uh, and style. Majority of the coupes are two uh, two doors, comfortable and gives a sporty feeling. Uh, so those who really uh, like uh, like driving uh, or they enjoy driving generally prefer to go for this vehicles and these are some of the vehicles uh, sorry the cars which comes under this particular category of both so we have Nissan, BMW, Jaguar, Jaguar you can see uh, there are plenty uh, next one is con convertible so as the name indicates the convertible the body is able to be getting converted into a closed or a open so we are able to fold the roof uh, in this particular case uh, so generally has a soft folding roof so we can wind up the windows, uh, uh, preferably it is a two door and a two seat arrangement. Uh, such a car as a often have a canvas or vinyl roofs, uh, though nowadays these are also made of plastic, aluminium or steel etc. Convertibles are generally two door cars, they are open roof, so we can uh, uh, enjoy preferably in the cold countries, we can enjoy the sun uh, while we drive. All around visibility is there. We can see all around without any uh, uh, interference in between or obstruction in between. So all around visibility is very nice. So we can enjoy the beauty of the nature uh, when driving this particular cars. Enhanced driving pleasure uh, with a comfortable two-seat arrangement. It is very uh, a pleasure to drive this particular cars. Maximum ventilation since it is open. The ventilation is nice. Uh, Great enjoyments uh, in a sunny days, preferably in cold countries, we can have with this particular cars. Uh, then we have the list of convertible convertibles. We have BMW, Mercedes, Ferrari, etc. Then So we have the saloons or sedans. So it is a 
is an enclosed compartment, is having an enclosed compartment to accommodate a row of front and a rear seats without any partition. So, preferably there will not be any partition in between the front and the rear uh, seats. Uh, and it has a fixed roof to have again a separate uh, luggage compartment as well. Uh, so, here also it is a very comfortable type of arrangement of this particular car uh, and the ventilation is also nice. And uh, preferably, the, uh, when you design this particular car, the rack coefficient is kept to a low value of around 0.35 to 0.5. Uh, so, very good aerodynamic look what we uh, would have with this particular sedans. So, sedans are also called as Seto. Uh, and uh, they come under the category of executive cars. They are really called all rounders as they deliver performance, space, business friendly. So, it is a combination of all features, good features, nice features under this all the different categories they have uh, combined uh, with a preferably uh, uh, minimum or uh, affordable cost. So, space and style is better, the mileage is also better, preferably. Uh, makes longer journey comfortable. Preferably, these vehicles are used uh, preferably uh, since uh, they are close one, uh, we can have a longer journey with this particular vehicles. Decent passenger and come came in space. So, preferably, a nice arrangement of the space for the seat uh, made for the passengers as well as drivers. Uh, uh, it is a family car as we can call it as. So, you can see over here. The, we have a back door which can be open and therefore the main hatchback as well as we have the side doors to uh, enter or get out of the vehicles. And some of the sedans are the Hindustan motors starting from the Toyota, we can have all the variants. Uh, and the next category is SUV category that is sports utility vehicle vehicle category. So, it is a combination of uh, the sports, the first one, the sports category and the utility category. So, it is a sports utility category and that is how it is called as SUV. Uh, and it is similar to a state or usually have a higher and bigger ground uh, clearance. So, preferably, uh, this vehicle can be used in the countryside roads, preferably because the ground clearance is kept uh, higher and therefore um, the obstructions on the road, etc., can be taken care. Uh, with a comparatively comparatively higher uh, power engine, uh, high power engine which is uh, used in such vehicles. So extra seating capacity. So again, a uh, family vehicle with a extra seating capacity uh, suitable for family with the four or five members etc. So extra seating capacity is there. Towing capacity. We have made a we can have a towing arrangement so we can pull something uh, using this tow something with this particular vehicle. Uh, vehicle handling and safety. Uh, so, uh, it is safer to drive such vehicle, so the safety features are taken care. Uh, more horsepower engine, so uh, high power engine is used because uh, the capacity is more and uh, as well as um, <coughs> the uh, uh, high power vehicle is, uh, power is more re again required because of the vehicle is used to run on the countryside road where the obstructions will be more. Seating and hauling is versatility. Uh, off road and on road, both it can be run better for bigger families. And these are some of the uh, SUVs what we generally have. Next comes the category what we call as estates. So, estates are similar to that of a sedan but with the extended rear. So, the rear side is extended uh, in order to accommodate more cargo or luggage. Uh, the features are the best boot space, so the boot is more, the luggage compartment is bigger, better load space, uh, comfortable ride, uh, better handling and fuel uh, economy, then the choice for family and anyone needed to carry a lot of luggage. So this is again uh, another uh, car which is generally suitable uh, for uh, families, but again the cost is comparatively again a uh, factor to be taken care. Uh, so, these are the two uh, state cars what we have, the pickups. So, these vehicles are generally used to carry the luggage, commercial vehicle, preferably commercial vehicle. Uh, so, the pickup trucks is a light commercial vehicle. So, um, where we not use the trucks etc, the bigger vehicles, we use these pickups uh, to carry small luggage, enough room for passengers. Along with that particular luggage, we can accommodate some passengers also. 
uh, easy to carry few passengers and transport uh, items easy to one destination to another, allow passengers and cargo space together. So it is a compromise between the, uh, the commercial uh, luggage vehicle or uh, commercial vehicle and uh, passenger vehicle. Uh, so some space for luggage as well as some space for passengers combined together. We have Mahindra Max, Mahindra Scorpio, uh, Netaway, Tata Xenon, so many uh, vehicles uh, or the earlier one, the Tata 207 also falls under this category. Then we have a very nice uh, car for uh, people who really love to drive the cars which we call as the sports cars. Sports cars or it's, a, it's generally a coupe is a two seater, may have two more extra more seats as per required, uh, two doors, it has a fixed roof and a high performance engine, track coefficient is kept very very less uh, so that the car can be run at a very high speed. So generally as the name indicates, it is used for sporting. And these are the different uh, models of this particular sports cars what we have, some of them. Uh, this is again a very uh, uh, posh car. Uh, generally we, we can see such cars in uh, um, English movies uh, where there will be a lot of uh, space inside, they can, uh, so many people can sit together, discuss, meetings, etc. So it is a luxury car uh, with a high quality equipment, interior finish, cushion seats, air conditioning inside, seat 5 persons behind driver the sliding glass partition, so there is a partition between the driver cabin and the uh, uh, passenger cabin uh, very uh, tight compartment. Uh, so uh, we can have uh, some, the interior to be have uh, air conditioning etc. very comfortable uh, and obviously a high costly vehicle. So similarly to a similar to that of a cars, we can have a different uh, Arrangement for vans, uh, styles for vans also. We can have a panel van, we can have a door drop step, uh, side van, we can have a double cabin van, we have a combi van. So we can have different variants of the van. <coughs> then we have a tipper van, minibus type of arrangement, two-top van, or a camper van where it can be used for uh, carrying uh, um, or making special arrangements uh, as per our uh, requirement. Uh, we can have similar uh, styles for buses also. So buses are used to transport with from the passengers, uh, and we can have a classification on the basis of body shapes and sizes. So we can have a minibus, suburban bus, town bus, or luxury bus. So we can have different varieties, uh, and on the basis of the number of passengers, we can have. The buses to be classified as the minibus, small coaches, small buses for towns, uh, medium coaches, medium buses for towns, large coaches, large coaches for towns, and articulated vehicles or articulated buses, uh, which is uh, having a capacity of greater than 80. So we can have such uh, suburban buses, we can have town buses, and we can have uh, uh, double decker buses. Preferably in uh, metros, we use these double decker buses. Uh, we can have articulated buses where, when we want to have a more uh, passenger capacity, uh, as we have shown uh, for greater than 80, when we want, we have articulated type of buses. Uh, and we have the uh, uh, two level single arrangement where this is a luggage compartment here on the lower side and on the upper side, we have the seats. So, it is a different design of a bus and with this uh, we complete uh, the, the basic requirement of the automobile introduction uh, required for this particular subject. Thank you.